Hi everyone, this is Duncan from the podcast Under the Stairs. This particular video you're checking out just now has the archival recording attached to it. The archival recording is from our podography, I think that's the term that we use, um, and it will feature reviews of movies that fall under the 88 Films Italian Collection series. Now, the vast majority of reviews we've done over the last five years have been in audio format and published on our RSS feed for the podcast. We are transitioning over to give you access to all those reviews right here on YouTube under a playlist. Now, we're doing that because we're about to do our first video recording of E88 Films Italian collection release, that being Tentacles. So there's plenty of opportunity to delve into the back catalogue of the reviews here. And if you like what you hear, then please hit subscribe on the channel, leave your comments below, and uh, check out the rich catalogue of over 1,200 episodes we have on podcasts under the stairs on any podcatching device or Spotify that you use. So stick around, enjoy the episode, and I'll speak to you very soon. Welcome back, ladies and gents. So you've just heard the trailer for Zombie 5, Killing Birds. This is disc number 68 in the 88 Films Italian Collection. Dear God, 68. Can, can you believe we are this far in? Um, I am struggling to believe that. They're still releasing titles as well. Uh, they're, they recently announced, I think it was one or two more titles into the collection so i'm curious to see how far this is actually going to go because there is a plethora of titles that have just never made their way to blu-ray from that part of the world so i feel they probably could comfortably get to 100 but after watching this movie for the first time i kind of want to make the bad man stop um Let's give you the blurb on their website. A group of college-aged ornithologists have taken a class trip deep into the wilderness on a quest to find and study a rare and possibly extinct species of bird. Despite receiving ominous warnings, both human and avian, they set up camp in a musty old house, only to find themselves under siege from mysterious supernatural forces. 
But it's not just the house or the hordes of hungry birds that they have to worry about. They quickly realise that they're also going to have to contend with a group of bloodthirsty zombies who have descended on the deserted farmhouse. A positively jaw-dropping slice of late 80s horror as only the Italians are capable of imagining. Claudio Latanzi's Zombie 5 aka Killing Birds and Raptors is everything but the kitchen sink style thriller which piles on gore and insane plot twists starring Laura Wendell of Tenebrae, Robert Vaughn of The Man From U.N.C.L.E. and produced by exploitation auteur Joe DiMaro who did Anthropopicus 88 films brings Zombie 5 to Blu-ray newly restored from the original negative. The special features on this one that I got was I, I paid a lot of money for this. I got the slipcase new artwork from Graham Humphreys, which was limited to 1,000. I hate my life. Uh, a new 2K master from the original 35mm camera negative. High definition 1080p presentation and 185 one aspect ratio. LPCM English soundtrack. LPCM Italian soundtrack with optional English subtitles. An audio commentary by Troll Howarth and Nathaniel Thompson. From Raptors to Quarantine, an interview with composer Carlo Marina Cordillo. Clause to Raptors, an interview with director Claudio Latanzi. Um, the Sound of Raptors, an interview with simmed recordist Piero Paris. Blood on the Mirage, an interview with Pietro Tenoglio. An alternative Raptor title sequence, the original trailer and reversible sleeve. The technical specs for this one, well guess what, this one is region unlocked. So that's A, B's and C's. Audio is LPCM mono, pictures 10, 80p, HD, 1851. One. The runtime, merciv mercifully, is an hour and 32 minutes. Um, languages are both English and Italian, with English subtitles. Oh by God, is this movie a whole lot of nothing really happens for a huge swath of this. So, I was unsure where we were going to go with this. I know that the zombie movies just continue to rattle up in numbers because that's what we do in Italy. Um, to be honest, that's what we did in other territories as well. But specifically in Italy, after zombie flesh eaters, we just got a horde of zombie movies. Um, and this is the fifth one. And none of them have a passing resemblance to the original um, Dawn of the Dead, the original zombie movie that was released way back in the day. In fact, the tenuous link is purely there are undead forces at work here and we can link this back. This one feels like the most tenuous to this point though. Um, are the creatures really zombies? I don't know, question mark. Do they behave like zombies? Not really, question mark. I mean, when you've got a zombie essentially smacking the head of a woman off a bit of wood and not eating her brains... I don't know if they're hired killers or trained assassins or, um, I don't know, zombies. I, I just felt all very muddled. Um, this kind of feels like two movies just smooshed together and not in a good way. Um, it starts off with a, almost like a kind of slasher style opening of these people being murdered in this property surrounded by birds. And then we get about 15 minutes of people setting up a trip to this house. And it is so fucking tedious. Nothing happens. And the characters are all obnoxious and you don't want to spend any time with them. And then guess what? You're going to arrive at this house and then all of a sudden Robert Vaughn's there. And I'm like, Robert Vaughn's in this movie? Oh, that's right. I wonder how much Robert Vaughn we're going to get. Like, maybe three minutes all in in this movie. He kind of bookends it and not in a great way. Which is a shame because he's got some pretty cool bitch and practical effects to convey his blindness. I mean, you think his eyes have been scratched out by the birds. Um, and we spend no time with him, probably because he was there for a bit of easy money. Maybe a trip to Italy. Um... So that's a kind of wasted opportunity. Uh, Laura, Laura Wendell, who is surprisingly good in this movie, doesn't really get much to do, which is also a bit of a shame. The score is kind of shitty and overpowering and, you know, is used far too much. The deaths are relatively infrequent until towards the end, but even then the body count is relatively low for a zombie movie. And it just, it comes with a huge amount of, 
pacing issues. There's some dream stuff set up that never really pays off in any substantial or satisfying way. And, I mean, it's it's well shot. And the effects are kind of cool. I just wish they'd given us more of that and less of character interaction and pretty ropey dialogue. Um... Yeah, I, I'm not a fan, if I'm honest. And like I say, I got this one as soon as he announced it. So I think it's cost me like 25 quid. And it's at this point I question my blind allegiance to collections. Um, it's been a while since I like I kind of hated on one of the Italian collection. And I know there were people online uh, in the old group page and occasionally in emails that would say that I was unnecessarily mean to the Slasher Classic collection while appearing to give the Italian collection a bit of a free ride. This is the exception to that rule, for sure, if that's what you think. I, I didn't like this movie. Um, some of the special features, kind of interesting, but even then, no one is speaking hugely passionately about this particular movie, whether it's the director or the sound recordist. Um, none of them really seem like wholly enthused by this. I did flick on and off the commentary and those guys seem to be at least having fun talking over the top of it. But yeah, this is not, it's not a great movie. It's, it's kind of kind of like a really, really, really low rent demons um, without any of the charm, wit, sophistication. <laughs> I know I said sophistication when talking about demons, but on some level, the way that movie is set up is surprisingly sophisticated within the movie within the movie sort of scenario there's just none of that here um and a lot of stuff that just doesn't really add up to anything doesn't really pay off and yeah it's a bit of a waste of time if i'm honest um i i don't want to spend any more time talking about this title at all uh, i actually bummed me out to watch it um because i was kind of looking forward to getting back in and doing one of these movies and then you watch this and then you realize life hates you